Hey YouTubers, welcome back to Donny Boy 73 the small engine doctor. Today I'm going to show you how a decompressor works on a chainsaw. On some saws, you're going to have a decompressor and the reason for that is that so when you go to start it, it's easier. So if the compressor is not pushed in, as you notice, it's harder to pull. If I push in the decompressor, it's a lot easier to pull the saw over. Now the decompressor is usually located right here. When it's pulled out, it's off. When it's pushed in, it means that it's going to be easier to pull over the chainsaw. The way this valve works is it opens up and releases air out of the cylinder when you pull it over so it's easier to pull. Now I'm going to remove this valve here to show you exactly how it works. Now here's a closer look at the valve. It's been removed from the cylinder. Like I mentioned previously, when you push on it, it opens up the way for all the compression to escape out of the cylinder when you're pulling it over. Then when the engine fires up, the little explosion that occurs inside the cylinder will automatically shut the valve like this so that you don't lose your compression. So it's pretty simple. You push it, lets the air out. When it starts, it shuts it automatically. If by any chance your engine has no compression, always make sure that the little valve is pulled out. Now remember that not every chainsaw has a decompression valve like this. Now here's the exact same cylinder. It's another cylinder I had here for that 55 Husqvarna. This is where the decompression valve is screwed on the head. And you'll notice inside the cylinder, there's a tiny hole down here. It's about one eighth in diameter, right here. And this is where the air would go through and out the valve here to make it easier to start. So that's all there is to this system. Like I mentioned previously, if your chainsaw has no compression, always make sure that this little valve is pulled out. And you can always remove the valve to make it double sure. And this is a 13 millimeter deep socket that I'm using for this. So I'll just demonstrate quickly again. You push it in, it's easy to pull. If it's pulled out, it's much harder to pull. Now I'm gonna give the chainsaw a quick start with the decompression valve pushed in. And when I stop the saw, you're gonna see that it's pushed out by itself after. All you do is you push it in, put your choke on and so forth, and start it up. And the decompression valve is going to be open until it starts. Now if I take a look at the decompression valve, you can see that it's pushed itself shut all on its own. It's a pretty simple design, it works good, and it's easy to understand how it does accomplish this job. And hopefully my video has explained to you exactly just how that little valve works. If you're in the market to buy a chainsaw and you don't want a saw that's really hard to start, make sure it's got a decompression valve on it. If you're buying a much smaller saw, usually you do not need a decompression valve. But if you buy a higher end model or bigger CC's chainsaw, it would be nice to have the decompression valve. So if you're not sure if it has one, take a look on the side of the cylinder or on the top of the cylinder or ask your dealer for more information. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.